At the end of this video, you're gonna have an automatic way to create personalized sales emails using OpenAI and Langchain. Now, we're gonna run through an example, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this for hundreds or thousands of different companies. Let's take a look at an example. Dear GitLab, and this will be replaced with whatever company you wanna do. We love that GitLab helps teams deliver great software quickly and collaborate on code, blah, 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 blah. So we have information about the company, and then we have information about our company and how they're gonna help. And this is leaning into the value sales, uh, value selling method rather than price. We can help you deliver great software by quickly providing automatic blah, 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 and go from there. If at the end of this video, you say, hey, Greg, I don't really feel comfortable with the code, but I do really want this software. Well, we can go ahead and talk about arrangements for that. And so let me know and uh, we can have a chat about it. And last thing that I'll say here is that I share a whole bunch of different tools on Twitter. So if you go ahead and follow me there, you'll get the latest releases. And for example, here, I just released or demoed a call summarizer for your sales and user research calls. So be sure to follow me there in case uh, you want to. Links in the description. All right, to start us off here, let's talk about the diagram view about what we're going to be doing today. So you're first going to start off with your list of companies. This could be your the companies you're prospecting into or that you're interested in. And then you also need a little bit of information about them. Now, while language models are magic, they're not so magic that they're going to be able to know what the company does if it's not a very popular company. So a little bit of information about them goes a long way. What we're going to do from there is we're going to use custom Langchain MapReduce prompts. That is a mouthful, but what that means is basically is we're going to give it custom instructions in order to get the output that we want from there. And then ultimately what we're going to get is a nice customized email exactly how we want. The data that I'm choosing to work with today is gonna to be the Y Combinator Startup Directory. And the reason why I like this one is because not only is there a list of companies on there, but if you click on one of these companies, you'll see that it has the name and it has very good information that describes what the company does itself. Now, I'm a big fan of Y Combinator, so if you end up doing this, please provide value to these founders and uh, don't just spam them because you'll earn bad spam karma and you don't wanna do that. Uh, in order to get this information in a bit more palatable way, I did a little bit of uh, scraping and we have a Excel spreadsheet here in tabular form with all that same information just laid out. All right, finally, let's jump into some code already. Uh, I'm first gonna start by importing some of my packages here and we are gonna have some things to help us load the URLs, to summarize the chain, our language model, uh, split up our documents and also prompt templates. Uh, so first thing that we're gonna do is I created a quick function that is going to basically extract the data, the text from that web page that we were just looking at, and I'm gonna use the unstructured URL loader. I'm gonna pass it the path of the company that I wanna look at, and in this case, it's gonna be the second half of right here, or the latter half, and then I'm gonna have it print how many documents it's found on that one. Let's go ahead and let that run. You have one document, I should say documents. Um, now with this, I want to see a preview of the data, but I only wanna print the first 30 characters or else it's gonna to get too big. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's print the whole thing just so you can see it. Um, so up here we have what looks like navigation bar information because that's on the website itself too. And keep on scrolling down, scroll, scroll, scroll. And then we finally get some information about GitLab. So there it is. And then now we get some really good information. This looks like it's dense with, dense with content there. So let me go ahead and bring in just those first 30 again so we can see it. Great. And now um, what we have is we have one big document. Um, what I was just was showing you beforehand. And that's a little bit too big to mess around with with regards to the prompts. And so we need to split up that document into individual chunks. So I'm gonna go ahead and split that up. And then I'm gonna do doc splitter. I'm gonna call my text splitter, which we in, which is what we, uh, we made right there. I'm gonna split the documents, which is gonna be our one document that we just had. And let's see, now we have seven docs, which is cool. So now that we have these seven pieces, what do we do? Well, in order to answer that, I want to refer back to our um, MapReduce slide that we showed in another video. And what we just did is we had this one big long document. It wasn't 8K tokens, but in this case, just imagine it was long. And we split it up into seven parts. Now, what you get is these seven different parts. And step one is going to be your map prompt. Now, normally, if you were to call load summarize chain from link chain right out of the box, it would ask for a summary of each one. Well, in this case, we're gonna do a custom prompt in order to get us these quote custom summaries that aren't really summaries, but they're, they are with some special instructions. Then what we're gonna pass is a combined prompt. And so next we're gonna pass it a very custom prompt that says, hey, Langchain, I want you to take all these different parts and then talk to OpenAI and give me something good on the other side. 
And in this case, instead of a final summary, it is gonna be a final email, okay? So let's jump into what these custom prompt templates are. The first one we're gonna look at is gonna be the map prompt. So remember, this is the one that actually uh, does the summarizing of the different parts in the very beginning. And so I'm saying below is a section of website about prospect. Now you'll notice here that I insert a token and this is gonna be a token that says, uh, well, it's basically just a placeholder that I'm going to fill it in with a variable later. And this is why we're using prompt templates because Langchain makes it extremely easy to kind of swap out different pieces of this. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I could do something along the lines of like below is a section of a website about a company, right? A concise company summary about a company or whatever like that, but I'm trying to be explicit as possible to open AI. And this is where a little bit of prompt engineering comes in. And I think it's helpful in order to give more uh, direct instructions. So in this case, prospect is going to be GitLab, um, spoiler alert, because that's the one that we were just looking at. Uh, write a concise summary about GitLab. If the information is not about GitLab, exclude it from your summary. And the reason why I included this one in there is because we saw all of that uh, navigation uh, information, all this stuff that wasn't about GitLab that I don't care about. And then here's the text that um, is gonna be the chunk that we just made. And then we're gonna ask for a concise summary. And then ultimately what we do here is we uh, create a prompt template and we pass in our uh, template, which is gonna be this, this piece of text right here, and we describe the input variables. And these input variables are gonna match one-to-one -one with the different variables that we mentioned within our template there. Cool. Now we have our combined prompt. And if this one looks a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie, it took a little bit of uh, prompt engineering to figure this out. And uh, for those of you who don't know, prompt engineering is a fancy way of saying, I fiddled with it a whole bunch to see when it would get the uh, results that I wanted from there. So this is where I landed. And I'll explain the different pieces of it. Your goal is to write a personalized outbound email from sales rep. Here's a token that I'm gonna insert, uh, whatever your sales rep's name that you wanna uh, have the email come from. A sales rep at company, and in this case, this is gonna be your company to prospect. So what I will do is I'm gonna say, hey, write an out outbound email from Greg, a sales rep at uh, Rapid Road, which is a made-up company, to GitLab. Cool, awesome. A good email is personalized that combines information about the two companies and how they can help each other. So this is where I start to describe what is a good email. And you can fill this in with your own specific templates and how you like to do it. Um, and then I'm saying be, you, be sure to use value selling. So this is just a sales methodology that leans into value rather than price. And I'm describing how that works for the uh, language model. Then I'm saying in, uh, information about company. And in this case, it's going to be the company that I'm describing. And I'm going to give it a little bit of company information. And then I'm going to say information about prospect. And in this case, it'll be GitLab. And I'm going to pass the... Um, the summary or it's going to be the individual summaries of the chunks that we just saw beforehand which is what's going to get input right here and then um this is going to be seven chunks because we had seven different pieces there include the following pieces in your response and then i give it four bullet points about attributes of the email that i want to have so for example start the email with a sentence we love that gitlab helps teams do helps teams in fact i want to take rid of that part helps teams dot 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 then insert what they help teams do. And so you can give some kind of uh, instructions like that. Now, it's not going to be exact. And this is where uh, the non-deterministic nature of language models comes in. Uh, but they're going to know, they're going to, they're going to pick up, pick up your tone a little bit. And so um, I encourage you to experiment with these on your own for your own emails and see how it goes. Then I'm saying your response. Okay. Now, doing the same thing as beforehand, I'm creating a prompt template, and here's the combined prompt, which is the text up here that we were just talking about. And then again, these input variables are going to be one to one with the input variables that we have up here. So, sales rep, company, prospect, blah, 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 and go from there. Cool. I'm going to run that. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some information about my own company. So, Rapid Road, which is just a name that I made up, well, with ChatGPT, of course, helps product teams build product faster. Cool, okay. And then I asked ChatGPT for some features about what they do. Um, they have a platform that allows product teams to talk more, exchange ideas, and listen to more customers. And then here are three features that they recommended. And I want to use this. And the reason why I don't put that right into the prompt itself is because, well, it felt like a really good variable. So we're just gonna go for that. Now is where the really fun part comes in. So we're gonna do some Langchain magic here. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start my language model. 
and it's gonna be the OpenAI one that we saw up above. And I'm gonna set temperature equals 0.7. Now you'll usually notice that temperature is gonna be equal to zero, and this shows very few uh, or less creativity within the final output. But um, I want a little creativity on this one. It adds a little bit more personality, makes it sound not so dry. Then I'm gonna pass my uh, OpenAI API key. So then in order to do this, we're gonna load our summarize chain. Now you may be asking, well, maybe, maybe not. Hey, Greg, how come you're, you're using load summarize chain if you're not actually summarizing what GitLab is, but you're producing an email? That'd be a very good question. And I would say, I'm using this just as the convention to get the map reduce functionality that I want. I tried exploring it in Langchain other ways and it was a bit more confusing and a bit more steps than I would have wanted, but it's really nice here. And the way I'm gonna make this work for myself is I'm gonna uh, pass in the custom map, I'm sorry, the custom map prompt template that we made up above and the combined prompt template that we made up above. And then I'm gonna specify map reduce. And so this way, instead of asking it to summarize, okay, that one's just right above. I have a hidden cell for that. Um, and so that way um, it follows the instructions that we have up above and not just the out of the box information that Langchain gives it or out of the box prompts. Cool. Now we can finally do the really awesome information. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this chain and I'm gonna say the input docs are the seven docs that we had up above beforehand, right? These are the raw docs that came from straight from the website. I'm gonna say my company here, which is, is gonna be Rapid Road. Now this company token right here is gonna replace any instance of company that we have up above in either of the two, well, I don't use it in the first one, but it's gonna be in the, in the combined template. Okay. Then we have company information, which is the bullet points that I outlined before. The sales rep's name is Greg and the prospect is gonna be GitLab, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and you see it's taking a little while, and that's because it's going and actually making the API calls finally to OpenAI to get this information. So it's already done. What it just did is it just got the brief summaries of the seven different chunks, and then it just generated the email with the combined prompt that we had mentioned beforehand. And if you wanna see all the magic, you go ahead and run the output text, and you, there you go. Dear GitLab team, we love that GitLab helps teams collaborate efficiently across software development lifecycle. Sweet. So I've done a fair number of these so far right now, and um, I would give it a solid probably six and a half out of 10, maybe a seven, depending on where your filter is. So it's pretty good. Um, it's not going to be as great as if one of your top reps went down, uh, sat down and made an extremely customized email. But if you're doing, um, if you're trying to reach a lot of people, it's, it's not bad at all. Okay. So I want to run this one more time, but in this case, I'm going to say verbose equals true. Now, the reason why I like verbose equals true is because Langchain will expose to you every single prompt that it's sending over to OpenAI, which helps me understand what's happening underneath the covers a little bit better. And so let's run through this example by what we see here. Here, here it is prompt after formatting, which is cool. Below is a section of the website, um, about GitLab write a concise summary about GitLab. So here is the prompt template that I made before, but with all the tokens filled out, which is pretty cool to see. And then we go down, blah, 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 nothing good, nothing good. And then GitLab, a complete DevOps platform delivered as a single application. Well, that's cool. And so then what it did is it took my map prompt and created a summary of that, concise summary. Here's section number two. There's number three, there's number four, there's number five, there's number six, and there should be seven. And there's number seven. Okay, cool. So it just went through and did those different seven uh, mapped map prompt, and which is basically a summary. Then what it's gonna do is it's gonna put my combined prompt. Your goal is to write a personalized email, blah, blah, blah. And we had our combined prompt right here, which is cool. Information about Rapid Road. Here's everything that I wanted them to know. Now here's the really cool part. And this is why Langchain is so magical and makes it easy, is information about GitLab. Here are the seven different summaries from the seven different parts of the website that we saw beforehand. So we have all that information right there and include in the response, blah, blah, blah. This is exactly what we wanted. And we say your response. And then what it does is it outputs to us, it outputs to us uh, that good information like we saw. So that's how we do one example. Let's see how we do hundreds or thousands of examples. So in order to do this, I'm just going to rinse and repeat and basically loop through the different companies. So uh, I'm a big pandas guy, so I'm going to use pandas to do this. And I'm going to read my clipboard. But before I do that, I need to go over here and I need to read um, my clipboard. I want to get just a few 
I don't want anybody in the winter or in the most recent cohort. And so I'm gonna get these folks and let's see here. I'm gonna select, this looks like seven different companies. So let me select these. I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna have it read my clipboard and let me print out the data frame and there it is right there. So what this is gonna do is it's basically gonna go through each one of these different rows and it is gonna say, it's gonna print out where we are because who doesn't love some print statements? It's gonna get the page data. So it's actually gonna to go to that website and go get the page data. It is gonna split up that page data into docs. And then once we have those docs, I'm gonna use those as my input document. Uh, I'm still Rapid Road, I'm still Greg. And then the prospect's name is gonna be the company name, which is listed right here. So the first one will be uh, Findly or Findly. And then the company information will be um, the company information, which is about Rapid Road, which is my fictitious company. I'm gonna ask it to print out the output text and then I'm gonna have it do uh, just a double break so I can see what we got going on here. So let me run this. So right now it's doing it for uh, Findly and let's see it here. Give it a sec. And now we have our first one, which is super sweet. So we love that Findly helps teams quickly and accurately access data insights without having to learn SQL or Python. That's pretty cool. And if you wanna double check this, I'm gonna go ahead and toot this URL and let's see what they do. Oh, it's an AI chatbot for your data warehouse. That's freaking awesome. I mean, that's exactly what we wanted right there. And so now you have Maya Labs, you have Find PH. Uh, and this one's kind of interesting because it says Dear Michael and Justin. And so we go to this one and we scroll down to the bottom and you can see that Michael and Justin are actually the uh, co-founders of this company. So it's starting to pick up um, just a little bit more information from there. Now you'll see that this isn't necessarily uh, copy and paste ready to paste it right into your emails, but you're going to get a really good start for this. And if you want to go ahead and customize this for yourself, what I would really encourage you to do is mess around with these map and combined prompts, because from there, um, you'll be able to uh, specifically get it. Um, for example, what if you actually said, Hey, here's an example email. That's really good that we sent to another company. It might be able to uh, output that exact email template for you. Not sure, but that's how you do it for uh, hundreds or thousands of companies. So if you like learning about this tool right here, please subscribe and like this video because, uh, well, I'm trying to release a whole bunch of really awesome tools that create business impact for you. Let me know how you're implementing this. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there. We'll see you later.